Good afternoon, this is the latest video update on Tropical Storm Highway. This is very busy Tuesday afternoon. You will continue to watch Highway now nearing landfall in eastern China, last week approximately 260 kilometers east of the city of Wenzhou here in Shenzhen province, or about 420 kilometers south southeast of Shanghai. Maximum sustained winds remain at 110 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 155. According to la the latest analysis from JMA, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, JDWC, has actually upgraded High Kuwait to a typhoon as early as uh, yesterday evening. You can see the system has really improved uh, over the past 24 hours since we last made a video yesterday. You can see the eye has um, begun to uh, appear better on uh, the satellite. It's still rugged, although the system appears more symmetrical than ever. Uh, highway is currently moving northwestward at 10 km per hour. Now, the system does look impressive on the satellite, although the infrared image still showing the convective bands is still very rugged and uh, actually cr cloud tops are warm and not that impressive uh, when you compare it with the visible image. But still, the system is now uh, affecting parts of eastern China and does seem to be a very strong. Uh, a tropical storm if not a typhoon based on the satellite appearance and also the microwave image basically takes a kind of an x-ray inside the storm showing you the eye wall a very large eye wall trying to form here uh, more than 100 kilometers in diameter and uh, this size the circulation size especially the inner core of the system is actually what's hindering it from really rapidly intensifying um, we were sort of expecting a peak intensity of around 150 kilometers per hour yesterday. Now the system is only 120 kilometers per hour. Uh, again, due to the uh, the large size, seems to be uh, sucking in more of the uh, dry air from the uh, from the regions around it, and also as it starts to interact with the uh, eastern coast of China, don't really think the system will intensify further. But, li but still strong typhoon hitting uh, Shenzhen province still uh, much a threat for the people living here and also eventually for Shanghai. Current warnings from the China Meteorological Administration still an orange warning for the typhoon so basically means uh, around uh, 12 to 24 hours uh, expecting a strong tropical storm or even uh, typhoon force winds are expecting um, sustained winds of up to 120 kilometers per hour also uh, raised the blue warning for rainstorm and uh, the agency is also expecting nearly 300 millimeters of rain across much of the Shenzhen province and eventually affecting uh, Jiangxi, northern Fujian, Jiangsu and also uh, Shanghai area. Latest radar from, uh, from Shenzhen now showing the uh, center of the storm now beginning to be picked up by radar also the outer and inner rain bands now starting to affect the cities of Ningbo, Wenxiao and also uh, the other areas along the coast of Shenzhen. Our areas here are starting to report rains of 50 to even 100 millimeters in the past six hours alone so gives you the gives you an idea of, of the rainfall amounts embedded along these bands. Um, stations are also reporting big, uh, also reporting now tropical storm winds of around up to of up to 100 km per hour sustained gusts of up to 120 km per hour have also been recorded in some stations here and we also we, we still expect those winds to <coughs> slowly increasing uh, especially overnight as the system nears uh, landfall uh, those outer and inner rain winds will eventually make their way towards again northern Fujian uh, Jiangsu and also Shanghai uh, starting tonight and into tomorrow and as the system, as the system creeps north uh, westward across uh, eastern China expect those rainfall to basically affect much of the region in the next uh, two to even three days. The test for uh, Haikwei still remains on track for a landfall in about six to twelve hours uh, from now again uh, between the cities of Ningbo and uh, Wenzhou around 250 kilometers south of Shanghai system will continue moving northwestward across eastern China, weakening to a tropical storm as early as tomorrow morning. It uh, will then start recurving. Now we've talked about this yesterday, and now more agencies are beginning to show uh, that idea of a recurvature uh, back into the open waters of East China Sea. If 
that happens, it could move uh, within 200 kilometers of Shanghai, which is located over here, by as early as uh, Thursday evening or early Friday morning. Um, again, we expect those rains to start affecting much of the region here, much of the provinces in eastern China tonight and into tomorrow. Strong winds will also affect this uh, this uh, said regions. Now by the time it emerges into the open waters, say by Friday evening or Saturday morning, we expect Haikui to be a weak tropical storm or even a tropical depression by that time. So as it moves uh, east-northeastward uh, after it recurves, we no, we no longer expect um, significant reintensification from the system uh, because by that time the core will be disrupted uh, after going through uh, after making landfall and after traversing through land in, in about uh, three days or so but still uh, residents along South Korea, Kyushu and Western Honshu still need to monitor the developments of the system over the weekend because it could still pose a threat in terms of heavy rainfall and also uh, strong winds and rough waves in this regions uh, early next week depending on the movement of the storm but so right now the focus is along Shenzhen province this highway is expected now to make landfall in about 12 hours and also eventually into the uh, Shanghai area as the system moves near the city there. So the other system we still have 13W again in the middle of the western pacific not really affecting any land as of right now uh, still remains a weak uh, system JTWC continues to classify the system as a tropical storm. Apparently, satellite data have found uh, sustained uh, winds of around uh, 60 to 70 kilometers per hour, which is enough to make it a tropical storm. But as you can see in this latest visible image, the center is clearly exposed. No high cloud tops, uh, very weak convection going on in the system. Although, again, uh, the low level circulation center remains intact. and. Um, JTWC is still expecting this to maintain its uh, strong tropical storm characteristics over the next two to three days. You can see on their latest forecast track, expecting the system to move again northwestward, perhaps moving near Hokkaido by early next week, but by that time it could be a very weak tropical system or even subtropical as it counters uh, unfavorable conditions here in the northern Pacific. Finally, we take a look at the western Pacific again, showing you Tropical Storm Highway, or Typhoon, depending on you listen to, now move, making landfall, nearing landfall actually, in eastern China. Again, we have here Tropical Depression, Tropical Storm 13W. We also have a new low, pre low pressure area, or Invest 91W, uh, well southeast of Guam, still not expected to develop into a tropical system, but uh, we will continue to watch the system as it moves westward across the um, warm waters of the Western Pacific. And finally, we also have here the southwest monsoon, uh, which continues to bring torrential rainfall across uh, much of Luzon, particularly in the Philippines, uh, uh, sorry, particularly in Manila, where we have um, widespread flooding now uh, reporting. A um, very significant situation developing today in uh, the capital of the Philippines right now showing you the uh, infrared image again uh, those high cloud tops remain situated across central and southern Luzon and including uh, the region the national capital region here in Manila um, rainfall totals have now surpassed um, Typhoon Katsana back in 2009 uh, Pagasus reported 472 millimeters in the past 22 hours Compare that with uh, with Ondoy or Katsana's rainfall, which brought 455 millimeters uh, across uh, the uh, capital in 24 hours. So, a very historic kind of way in terms of um, the rainfall now being s uh, being observed across Manila and also nearby provinces, and that unfortunately has caused massive flooding and uh, disruptions in uh, businesses and even go government functions. Um, also, uh, also receiving reports of uh, several rivers swelling now and uh, numerous uh, dams across uh, the uh, across the area and uh, particularly La Mesa, La Mesa Dam, Ipo Dam, and Angat Dam, which are all near Metro Manila, now um, reaching critical levels and actually spilling now uh, with this, uh, with some dams now also releasing releasing water. Uh, for the past six hours now so in those rainfall combined with the uh, overflowing dams and swelling rivers 
definitely a very uh, bring a very very hard time across uh, much of the country, uh, much of the uh, much of Luzon. Uh, nearly two hundred thousand people have been affected by um, by the rains in one way or another. Uh, National Disaster Risk Reduction Management has reported uh, nearly fifty three deaths so far. That extends uh, back into Typhoon Saula or Hener, which ravaged the country last week. So. Um, as far as direct impacts from the southwest monsoon, we are receiving reports of around uh, three to eight deaths so far. One, land w one landslide has been reported near Mandela, uh, damaging some houses and burying some houses actually there. Fortunately, the rains will continue for another uh, one to two days. Um, it could it start weakening tomorrow as we see here high quay making landfall. Uh, it could weaken its its uh, ties or enhancement basically of the southwest monsoon, but still uh, expect widespread rainfall tomorrow, and are not really going to see improvement until perhaps by Friday. We're also seeing this tropical wave moving in from the east across the uh, western Pacific. Could enhance some rain showers as well across eastern Visayas and Mindanao. Again, much of the bulk of the rains still situated across Luzon, a very, very significant situation there. For more reports and live updates on the system from the ground, from our other contributors, uh, head on to westernpacificweather.com for the latest at not only on the west southwest monsoon, but also on Haikwai and the other systems in the region, especially Haikwai now that it, it is about to make landfall in eastern China. And if you do have storm reports, please leave a comment below. And if you have pictures or videos, feel free to share it with us, emailing us at uh, philippineweather@yahoo.com or at westpacweather at gmail.com. Stay safe, guys.